What's going on, guys? It's Shot here, and I'm here today. Oh, I'm not even on the title screen. <laughs> That's the new start. I've never actually been in the level one start, is it? Okay, I'm bantering the hunt too much. That's be a welcome to episode six of Geometry Dash. And, uh, yeah, today I'm gonna be playing another easy demon. I said I would be playing this in the last Geometry Dash video that I did. And this is Platinum Adventure. Now, I just did the 100% practice mode, so I do sort of got this down a little bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get right into this level. Like, the beginning of it is the hardest for me because, well, it has the infamous wave part. Oh. Well, that, that was just bad. Yeah, this part is decently easy. It tricks you up a little bit. You gotta remember, blue portals are what hits first. actually played and beaten this level before, like, it, like, there's actually, I'm just stuttering today, I'm sorry, I'm like really excited today, because, I don't know, it's almost, it's almost the weekend right now, and I'm just excited, but yeah, um, there's a glitch from going from DFO, which is speed, um, three, I believe, and when you go through the robot portal, it will usually stay on speed 3 instead of going down to the, uh, speed 1. Okay, I'm bantering on way too much. Okay. I love this level, though. Like, it's actually really cool, and it uses decoder music as well, which is endgame. Sorry about that. 
is so real right now. Like I... <laughs> the only reason I'm getting salty is literally the wave. It's just the wave. I'm not like those pros that can just beat Cataclysm or do the Night Circles wave. Freaking like Oh god, the Nine Circles wave is such a nightmare, honestly. I tried it once, I can't even get like 1% on, 1 on the uh, Nine Circles wave. It is literally nightmarish. And I never forget about that. Okay. I'm gonna try and concentrate so I'm not gonna be talking as much now. Yeah. As I run straight into a ninja star. Okay. Yeah, now I'm gonna start concentrating. Lego. I'm not even sure if you guys can see it, but like I have a bunch of Steam notifications going on right now. God. My hands are already sweaty, like... I get sweaty way too easily, it's actually obnoxious. <laughs> the moment you hate being a teenager because that's freaking like, just everything. I don't know. Oh my god, I can never do that area, that's why I hate the wave on this. Holy crap. That little area where you go into the ballpark, that's like, like oh, haha. <laughs> We're gonna control the crap out of you by making it work. Oh yeah, that. You think you could head out the way of that? So many times. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, I'm fine. Like, I like how this level looks, but at the same time, I basically hate it because of these two parts. God, I can't imagine actually doing decode though. That's why I'm probably getting stressed out from this music, is because it reminds me of decode. I actually did a little bit before. It shuts me out.
it might also probably not help that, uh, it's cold as crap here. Frickin' <laughs> gotta love winter. Yep, yep. Just, just gotta love winter. You gotta love it. <laughs> it's just like... Actually, hey Dona, uh, what's your guys' opinion on winter? Because I personally, like, I don't like that's cold, but I like the snow. because that shifts around so much. God, I remember when I actually, like, first played this level and I couldn't even get past that little yellow, uh, gravity switch there. I'd always fail on that, and it was like, oh my god, I'm gonna actually, like, tear my keyboard out of my computer and just, like... That makes zero sense because I'm on, on a, uh, desktop, but... Oh my god! <laughs> It's funny because I was actually planning on, instead of playing regular Geometry Dash today, I was planning on installing uh, Geometry Dash Meltdown onto my blue stacks and playing that instead. But yeah, I felt like beating Platinum Adventures because I told you guys I was going to beat Platinum Adventures, so I'm going to do it. Oh my. I double jumped way too high. I freaking hate the CFO part, like, so much. So troll to me, I hate it so much. Oh my god. Except for the wave! I'm 
actually like about <sighs> I'm gonna do it, like I know I'm going to. Eventually, like this is how it is with all the demon levels that I'm like the nightmare impulse, those two demon levels. This is how I felt whenever I played those two levels. Nope, 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 it was, it's a lot worse in Platinum Adventure. A lot worse. And I'm not sure if this is a secret as well, but I believe you can actually go that upper way uh, to hit the ring. But it's really not smart to do that because it's, it's, di it's difficult. And that just threw me into the spikes. Okay, I, I'm... If I die one more time, I'm just done talking because it's literally... I'm dying because I'm talking. And we all know I cannot do more than one thing... More than two things at once. doesn't work like that. Like, I literally have to, like, practice the game. Not even just the level, I have to practice the freaking game before I record this. Like, I have to go into, like, like, any level. Except for, like, really hard demon levels to practice. that probably ace this as well in one try. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> I cannot do anything. Today, that I'd be staring at a computer all day and my freaking eyes hurt because of it. And now I'm basically doing an epilepsy level. That's fantastic. Oh my god. With these rainbows and crap everywhere, it's not nice. Actually, this game in general is epileptic. So I guess I really shouldn't be complaining. You're gonna play the game. I'm done.
I either go too far or I can't get in the portal. I either go too low or I go, go too high. It's like what? I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. I think I figured out the secret to getting past that part, no problem. Now it's this part's turn. That's the first time and hopefully only time I will ever die on that frickin' stupid spike. <sighs> Wave part, I would be fine. 
I would be fine if it were as fast as this little area right here. I'd be fine. I'd be completely fine. But no, the love pebbles frickin' crap. Chill out a little more. Okay, no, I'm not. That's gotta have reflexes. My reflexes have, like, gone in CSGO instead of freaking jump to dash anymore. It's horrible. It, this is actually horrible.
I, I, I can't even explain the. Why did the freaking map creator just have to put an invisible block there? Look, well, heck, it'd be nice if it was anywhere else, but right there. I would rather be playing frickin' Zirakabi than playing this, and Zirakabi is literally the worst demon level in, ex in existence. It even, it doesn't even have positive likes. That's how bad Zirakabi is. And yes, it is actually a possible demon, just no one likes it, because it is literally a mess, and it somehow got rated.
position, but literally if my if I get too stressed it feels like I'm actually gonna have a heart attack. What? Why did I tell you guys I was gonna beat this level? Now I literally feel like crap. I literally feel like crap because I'm not gonna be able to beat this level. Oh my god, I'd rather be in a freaking CSGO game of pre-mades. Actually, I shouldn't say pre-mades, because apparently, like, in CSGO, the term pre-mades refers to anyone that is actually fluent in another language, I learned, and doesn't just apply to Russians. I should say, hey, I would rather be in the CSGO game of Russians. Okay, I, like, I don't understand why, like, it's literally just stereotyping in CSGO when people say pre-mades and means anyone that's fluent in another language. Heck, I'm American, and, and frickin', like, honestly, they people would probably call me a pre-mate if I start, like, speaking Russian or German or Swedish or whatever language. It's like, really? Uh. Oh my god. Perfect on this, you screw up. 
right here, at the end of the wave, if you're not perfect, you are dead. If you're not perfect anywhere, you would just die. It's just horrible. Are you kidding me? Then I actually jump from the invisible block and, and it, it kills me. It, it kills me, of course. Oh my god. Yeah, if you guys ever comment and, like, spam comment and, and like, if you guys ever spam comment frickin' play and beat nine circles, I will actually probably be frickin' like, I will lose my mind. I've never played nine circles and beaten it ever. Unless I'm able to actually get some skill. Yeah, which is pretty much never gonna happen as well. Like, I'm never playing nine circles no matter how much you guys ask of it. I like this area, it's nice and calm actually. And then, if I'm correct, next is... Next is this. I actually beat this in less than an hour. <laughs> I expected this to take like upright of more than an hour whenever I was gonna beat this. Holy crap. Um, so yeah. There's that. <laughs> That's my third demon beaten. I also got an achievement one second. Uh where no it's not here. Oh uh Oh, I forgot. I forgot that the uh, streams to international and I have friend quests and stuff. Hey. 20 friends on Jerome Tradash. Awesome. Crap, though. Let's go. While I'm typing this though, I'm gonna go ahead and outro. Alright, oh my god, uh... Or try to. Whatever. Yeah, I'll just do it after this. Holy crap, though. <laughs> oh. Anyways, holy crap guys, we beat our third demon level. I'm actually extremely happy about that. All I need to do is get past the robot part, that's all I needed to do. Oh, excuse me. I'm just burping now, that's great. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. Anyways guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, hopefully you did, and if you did, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and share the video around with your friends, maybe they'll enjoy it, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye.